What does slave trading, the murder of a police officer, and a big knife all have in common? Follow me while we explore the story that became the town of Bowie, Texas. Jim Bowie, Jim Bowie, he was a bold adventuring man. It's very hot outside. Good times. Our first stop on this journey is the world's largest Bowie knife. It's located in the 1600 block of East Y Street in Bowie, Texas. The knife is an astonishing 20 feet long and the blade is made entirely from steel. The giant knife took approximately three years to complete and cost upwards of $170,000. The Bowie Chamber of Commerce had taken up the project in memory of a man named Bob Hadley, a local resident who first suggested the monument before passing away in 2013. In addition to fulfilling Hadley's dream, the Chamber of Commerce was optimistic the attraction would increase tourism in the area. The project's cost was funded entirely by private donations, including an anonymous contribution of $100,000, presumably from someone who really admired the town, Jim Bowie, Knives, or some combination of the three. The monument was formally dedicated during the 2016 Jim Bowie Days Festival. i never seen a piece of steel as fine as this in my whole life. Our second stop is Legend Bank, or as it was formerly known, the First National Bank of Bowie. The First National Bank of Bowie was the first bank here, and it was robbed in 1884. The men who robbed it were chased down by the townspeople and apprehended, before they were ultimately hanged. Again, in 1938, the bank was robbed again and that man also was eventually caught. The bank has a placard outside, but it is now known as the Legend Bank. So what does all this have to do with a Texas hero, Jim Bowie? Let's talk about the man who was James Bowie. He's famous when it comes to the Battle of the Alamo in San Antonio, but what is his connection to the giant knife and why is it called the Bowie knife? Well, early on, James Bowie lived in Louisiana, buying and selling slaves even after slave trading was outlawed in the South. Over time, he made enemies with a competitor who was also a local sheriff and banker named Norris Wright. During an argument in a hotel lobby, Wright shot Bowie point blank, but Bowie survived the encounter. After the shooting, Bowie's brother had a large butcher knife made for Bowie and gave it to him to carry around for protection. A year after that incident, there was a large duel that was set to take place in the middle of the river on an island between two families. James Bowie attended that duel as he was an acquaintance of one of the parties. Even though the original participants squashed the encounter, another fight broke out during which James Bowie was shot twice and stabbed seven times. During that incident, one of the stabbings was from Norris Wright, who stabbed Bowie with a cane sword. Bowie pulled Wright down to the ground on top of him, where he plunged his large butcher knife into Wright, killing him. Again, Bowie went on to survive, and the story made headlines all the way to England, where the trend of selling Bowie knives went on into the late 1800s until people replaced carrying Bowie knives with a new reliable pistol that became available. Eventually, Bowie moved to Texas and happened to be present at the Battle of the Alamo, although he was bedridden for about 10 days before the final Battle of the Alamo and ironically wasn't even part of the fighting. It's presumed that the Mexican army found him in his cot and shot him dead. It's believed he had advanced stages of TB. If I just wrapped up filming and shooting some drone footage, the trusty drone. It was a nice ride up here. I passed a lot of abandoned buildings that I'd like to go back and explore, as well as the wind turbines in Munster, St. Joe area, which are always fun. Riding here was really hot, so I'm sitting under the shade, finishing off my water bottle. I'm gonna go capture a few more shots in the downtown square and I'll be on my way. I don't know where yet. I'm gonna go explore North Texas, see where we end up. I think I'm going to go inside, get out of the sun, and enjoy some non-alcoholic beverages. Wink. Wink.